Hi everybody, welcome to Old Guy's Garage. Okay, we're getting ready to install the new brake line over the cross member from the proportioning valve to where the uh, the new front disc brakes are going to go. So I've been saying in pre prior videos, keeping all your old parts, I've been keeping all my old brake lines so I could match the new ones to them. And you can kind of see here how different the stock one was, the one that came with the car, to the pre-bent one. Now the pre-bent ones, I believe, they were bought through Summit, um, who bought them and ordered them from Right Stuff Detailing. So that's where I got the brake lines from. So everything from the proportioning valve back has been set and locked in. As I covered that in a prior video, particularly the, the, re -end, the rear end um, improvement, update, fixer upper refurbishment that we did with the new gas tank and everything so now I'm gonna go ahead before I start putting in all the suspension and everything I'm gonna go ahead and run these brake lines and we're gonna run them across this gorgeous looking new cross member or I should say freshly painted cross member so everything down here has been cleaned up and painted so um, we're gonna go from there And I did buy a kit here with different uh, brackets for the brake lines. And I have some brake line bolts that I removed um, from the prior install. Uh, some of these I polished up with the wire wheel. Um, and then I did keep the old cross member brake line brackets. The, the stock ones have a little tab, well not these don't, but some have a little tab for alignment that stick in the holes in the frame. So, did keep the bolts too. Probably just going to paint those silver. This brake line kit also came with also came with bolts. And where they're at, I don't know. I thought I had I thought I had some left over. So, anyhow, stay tuned. We're going to start on this shortly. One thing I wanted to point out too was this was the line here that I cut from the proportioning valve. So, I know this side should actually be So, I should honestly have the brake lines laid out like this because this is how we're going to put them on the car. So before I dry fit the brake line and put it in, um, I'm going to go ahead and put these brackets on. Forgot about these, but these will give us a good, good stopping point on where the brake line needs to come up and around and end because it'll eventually tie into the hose, which is going to run to the to the disc brakes. We got these painted the same with the same paint as we painted the frame. There we go. Now we're going to go to the other side. All right, guys, one thing I've been doing here, guys and gals, um, is I've just been trying to match the bends here with the new stainless steel brake line with the old. So just kind of been going around, easy peasy, not trying to get too crafty with it. Definitely don't want to kink it, but I want to get somewhat close, um, especially over here. This one goes to the proportioning valve, so it's going to be a little longer than the prior brake line. And it looks like from here I'm going to need to turn it. So. Like Much like a lot of things, valve covers and other parts, you know, just doing a dry fit test, just to make sure, hey, you're on the right track. You know, I did that video on the um, 86 Olds valve cover gaskets, and that was one of the things I did before I placed, placed the valve cover gaskets and had the gasket already kind of temporarily 
you know, set was I went in there and just dry fit the, the valve cover just to make sure I was on the right track. All right, so I'm gonna roll on underneath the car here and dry fit this guy. Um, don't forget to get your parts ready. I'm gonna get my parts ready in the meantime here, the brackets, the bolts, and um, polish these up with the wire wheel. Most likely just paint these guys silver. I did paint them black, but I'm probably gonna paint, go back over them with silver. So I believe these are half inch, so I'm gonna get my wrenches. So we're good to go on this. I could just tighten down the brackets. We begin to, I also put my tools out here. I got half inch with the 3 h socket wrench half inch half inch wrench with the socketing socketing in here that is awesome and then I got a quarter inch ratchet here with the with the six inch extension got my brackets ready I got spare brackets in here and we're gonna get this thing done alrighty here we go guys you can tell what time of season it is <laughs> All right, gotta have the garage door open for all that extra light, especially on top. So, I'll be darned, it's still leaking oil. I just cleaned this up. I think the bolt's a little loose. Oh my gosh, all righty. Well, that's for a future episode. Okay, it's like, wait a minute, what is that? Okay, um, I'm gonna start on here. This one's going to sneak up behind the frame here and underneath these transmission cooler lines. Get him up there. There we go. Yeah, and I feel him. He's up here. He's up here and I can see him. All right, so the next one, and I'm going to pull him through as much as I can into the fender well over here. And we're going to twist this guy. And we're going to get this other side up. And he's also going to go with the proportioning valve in sight. Push him up. Just like that. Okay? And then we know from this distinct bottom where the center of this guy needs to be. Okay, and if you do have help, it might be a good idea if there is somebody above. So in the meantime, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm going to check on how things are going up top. So this is how it looks like on the driver's side. And there's the finish line there, the proportioning valve. And there's the other brake line. There is a hole back a little further, about right there. Um, there you go, you see it there, the middle of the screen there, where another bracket goes through. Then as we come over to the car, into the well here, this is looking pretty good. We might have to do just some minor tweaks to get this guy lined up with there. So, I'm going to come back under here, and we're going to center this guy. We've got our bolt holes here for the, for the line. And I'm going to start here and get this guy set, and then we're going to have to probably do some torquing and some bending uh, to the proportioning valve, and then this one here. There's a bolt that secures the brake line to the top of the frame here. We might have to do some tweaking to get it to line up and then up here we'll have to see what the proportion goes. Sometimes they make these lines a little longer where you gotta curl them. So, so I'm gonna go back up top, make sure this guy's unobstructed so I could pull this guy through a little bit more and we'll go from there. Let's see here. They're a little bit bigger. I'm not really that impressed. Well, I don't think we might gain a little bit of room with these guys. 
you know what I'm gonna go with the ones the factory ones and we'll just go from there tighten them down as we need to all right okay I'm also gonna do some bend in here get that guy to line up just a little bit better I'm gonna do a little bit more bend in here press against the frame there we go okay flatten this guy out okay there we go all right I'm gonna okay. I'd like to get him up against the frame a little better there we go I think that'll work out nice I'm gonna get that one kink out of it there there we go all right I want a nice looking brake line under here we've gone through this much work let's do it right okay. okay I'm gonna go with the first bracket and these look like I think they were painted green so a lot of these brake back brackets I've been putting back on have been have had uh, factory colors on them they must have done at the factory for certain uh, color-coded parts of the vehicle I'm wrapping that bracket around Hup, the holes just don't quite line up all right we'll have to get this guy figured out what we're gonna do here next all right so maybe I will try these newer one newer brackets here they have a little bit bigger poop in the bottom whoops was not expecting this. I was hoping these would go right back on, but given the diameter of the um, the old brake line compared to the new, I mean, I like this gravel guard or protector or whatever that's on this. that one on there so I am going to I'm just think I'm just going to start torquing it and then maybe we can grab grab some threads and this will suck on in and look nice and pretty when it's all said and done hey look at that so it's not the greatest I wish it looked a little bit better but we might be able to get that to suck in don't want to collapse the brake line either so and until we're fully done I'm probably gonna leave these guys loose so we can slide the the brake line around if need be yeah I think that's as far as I'm gonna go with that one I'd like to pull it down a little bit that looks better let's do the next one <laughs> where are all my brackets go okay I'm gonna find my bolts. I think I tried this three times and each time with a new bolt. Now I'm lying down here on my back, a bright light in my face. Can't see what I did with all the bolts. I know I got one setting up here. There we go. So same thing, I'm just gonna put the bolt through here. Get it to at least go through both holes. Whoops. Oh, turn it the wrong way. Come on. All right, I gripped the frame there. All right, I'm gonna press that guy in. Cool beans. Okay, we're gonna go up top. 
All right, so we're down here looking at this brake line. The end goal is to get this guy right here. This is where the connecting hose is going to run to the disc brake. So, and there's a couple holes back here uh, where we're going to put the bracket to tie this guy down. It does look like we're going to have to uh, do some bending um, around the frame here to get him where he needs to go. And with some bending, kind of use the frame as a pivot point and you can see we're really close to that hole on the left there where the bracket's going to go through for the brake line so I'm going to go ahead and attach the bracket next okay so we're going to work right here put the bracket on put it put the bolt through it definitely keep your pliers handy in case you have to tweak the brackets I'm not real happy with the brackets or the new bracket kit that I bought here I just not that impressed with it I just think the brackets are too darn small. You can kind of see I'm having trouble fitting it over that. You know, it's kind of ridiculous. So. All right, so I'm going to go with this modified stock bracket here. With the stock bolt. And. See if I can get him to work. There we go. I think I'm close to that hole. <clears throat> All right, I'm gonna go underneath with some pliers. I still have my fender fender well bolts out um, from my fender well video cleaning those up. So I just pulled a bunch of bolts and parts, had them labeled, and uh, wanted to go ahead and paint them all at the same time. Got to go through the bracket first, pull the fender well out of your way. It'd be really helpful if they actually had better brackets. So if you guys are listening and have done this. can actually and know a better source for brackets that would be awesome okay so we're in I'm gonna grab my little socket wrench we're gonna tighten those up This is why I'm putting these on before I get the A-arms and everything else in. I've just got a little bit more room. The pros may not do it this way, but I'm giving it a shot. Hey, it never, never hurts to uh, think outside the box, you know? So. All right, so there we have it there, guys. We're going to, guys and gals, let's move on to the other side. Okay, well, we're getting there. I'm going to take the tape off the top here. This guy here goes down to this brake line, and then there is a connector underneath here where this one here goes to. So you can see we're going to have to do some bending. Some more bending. Um, it is what it is. You just have to take, take the bending slow. Uh, razor knife scraping that, um, come, that'll come off really quick. So. And of course, I do have the, the plugs removed. So again, doing this before the A-arms are in here, I think it'll be a little bit easier that way. So, um, anyhow, let's get to it. And again, I'm going to go down low and reach in through here. I don't have the A-arm in my way, so I can put my hands and everything through here and bend that guy. Yep. Let's 
probably just be a process of getting up and getting down. Okay, you can see we got to get underneath here with this guy, so we're going to go back that way. My wife just had a song on inside the house. She's cooking chili, so. Maybe we ought to go in and uh, see what's going on. Oh boy, look at that. <laughs> Getting ready to make some chili. Yes, sir. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Now, don't give away all my secrets. Oh boy. That, look at all that goodness. Okay, and we're back from checking out the, the wifey making her uh, infamous, world-renowned championship chili. And I am the designated taste tester. Okay, we're going to see if we can't bend this guy. Do some magic here. Okay. Do a little twist in. Why don't we steal away? Into the night. Getting closer. I'm gonna keep it, keep this brake line, I think, behind this fender well opening. Have a game plan. Mm. There we go. Bend it, pivot point here. Looking better. Man, that'd be nice if it could come right up through there, just like that. Just gotta take your time and get the bend in. Of course, I want it to look professional. I want to also keep it away from the headers there. So if it's gonna be there. How do I take that torque out when I probably have to... Oh, yeah, there we go. Just trial and error, boys and girls. Trial and error. Looking good here, though. Well, Definitely nothing fancy. You see some guys, man, they got hoops in their brake line and all that fancy stuff, man. Good for them. That's about where I want it. I got to put bolts through here. There we go. It's not too bad. I probably, wanna, probably wouldn't mind this closer to the... Yeah, like right there. And then let's just bend it that way a little persuasion and that there is seven sixteenths so I'm gonna get him started up underneath here there we go I'm pulling down on the brake line and just letting the screw do its thing okay get my seven sixteenths whoop wait a minute Maybe that's three eighths. I've been so used to the brake line bolts being uh, seven sixteenths and half inch for the bolts that connect it to the frame, and but this guy here is three eighths. Well, it's going to feel good to get this all connected. Not going to connect all my lines. I still got these two master cylinder lines. I want to connect to this eventually, but until I get the uh, the disc brakes completely hooked up, then I can let let the fluid in the system bleed the brakes and go from there. Boy, that will be an exciting day for sure. All the effort to this day. 
Alrighty, let's do the driver's side brake line here, aka the left brake line. There we go. Not, sh not like show winning quality, but hey, you know, I think that looks pretty darn good. Alright, so this guy is going to end up down here. Whoop. Down there. And through the front of this. So, I'm going to dry fit it. There we go. That'll look good about like that. This is definitely going to have to come up. Uh, they say these lines are CNC bent and all that stuff. But man, I just don't know. I mean, it's great. They're, they're there for you. I mean, they're close. But man, I was just expecting, you know, something a little bit closer to what's actual here. And again, I have nothing to compare to because the old proportioning valve was way down there before. So that line was really short, just from there to there. So, this is shaping up here. I'm going to turn this a little bit. Then I'm going to turn this guy. Whoop. I'm down in the, down in the bracket. There we go. I'm gonna go ahead and screw this guy in. And then we're gonna finish, finish bending the rest of this. Pulling up on the brake line and pushing down with the nut. With the threads here. Okay. Got that. I think I like I like that kind of arrangement, at least for now. I'm gonna pull him up about like that. I think it's pretty nice with those guys in alignment. So that's what I'm gonna shoot for. Okay, so I got that. I'll come up here. Come up and up and up. I see my bracket down there. And let's see, maybe we'll bend this guy over. Not too bad. I'm kind of wondering if I should have put him underneath him. I don't even know if I could do that. So. That's where it needs to go. Right there. Don't really like that though. I know I'm going to have an A-arm through here. So... Take this guy off, and I am going to run that brake line underneath the brake line that's going to the right side, the passenger side of the car. Let's do this. There we go. Then I can keep that guy, get push that guy closer to the frame. Okay, I'm gonna finish bending this. Might have to get down there. There we go. Let's go with that. I like that. Again, uh, no like show winning bends here, but hey, you know, um, I think this is going to work for us. Oh, 
All right, guys. Well, there we have it. All right, everybody, thanks for tuning in. That wraps up this episode. Um, I was going to make this into a quick tip video, but I decided that I'd leave the longer video segments in just to kind of give a good demonstration of just the patience involved in the tweaking of, of installing your brake lines. So I um, hope this video helps you all out. Um, if you have any questions, please put them in the comments section. Love to hear any thoughts, ideas, suggestions. I'm sure other viewers would. And just remember, whether it's a classic car, a muscle car, a race car, you're a dream car. Let's keep them running. We'll see you next time. Oh my gosh, that is smelling so freaking good. Mm mm mm. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Of course, when you're cooking chili, you gotta listen to some yacht rock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got the we got the yacht rock on. Yeah, yeah. Yes, we do. Feeling all smooth. All smooth. <laughs>